As China continues to surround Taiwan with provocative military exercises, the Taiwanese are largely staying calm. Some residents, though, are taking steps to prepare in case of war. Viewers Bill Gallo reports from Taipei. These Taipei residents are preparing for the unthinkable, learning how to apply bandages and pack wounds at this civil defense training. Most Taiwanese do not think war will break out anytime soon, but a growing number are preparing in case it does. You know, I learned how to stop the bleeding, and I learned how to help people, and help me, myself, and help the others. With the um, situation in Taiwan at the moment, I think that sense of uh, being ready, you know, just uh, the awareness of being ready, I think it's important. Taiwanese have dealt with China's threats for decades. Despite that familiarity, some say the current situation is more urgent than ever. We democratized uh, close to 30 years ago, and so right now, this is our best way to protect our hard-earned democracy while maintaining the peace. Right? That's our ultimate goal, uh, to maintain peace while protecting our hard-earned way of life. Enoch Wu founded Forward Alliance, the NGO running this first aid workshop. In deterring conflict, it's just as important to have uh, a, a citizenship, citizenry that's, that's prepared uh, as it is to have a, a, a military that is, that is capable and credible. And so what we're doing here is uh, we're answering the question, what can each of us do more to help out our community and our country? Others are taking a more military-focused approach. This course in Taipei prepares civilians for urban warfare. No one wants a war, but if a war breaks out, you have to get up and fight in order to protect those you love or things and values you care about. Many Taiwanese have military experience, though not much. Currently, Taiwanese men are required to do just four months of basic training. More civilian training is needed for Taiwan's national security, says former top military officer Li Shi Min. So many youngsters. They hate China, they want to protect themselves, but they don't want to stay in the military. Lee proposes a volunteer defense force to train Taiwanese to defend their own families and homes. It may catch on. A growing number of Taiwanese say they'd fight to defend their country. Others simply want to be prepared to help their neighbors in case a war that they don't want breaks out.